Showcase Yakima, a partnership of KYVE 47 and the Greater Yakima Chamber of Commerce. Underwritten by Treetop. And by the Yakima Herald Republic. And by Thorner, Kennedy, and Gano. And by Central Valley Bank. Hi, I'm Thane Phelan from the Greater Yakima Chamber of Commerce. Today we are in Tyaton, and we're going to be taking a look at Mighty Tyaton and the man behind it. It's an artisan incubator. We're going to find out what that means on this edition of Showcase Yakima. Well, we're inside, uh, well, at, I guess inside Mighty Tyaton now, inside the uh, Paper Hammer store here, and uh, we've got Ed Marquand. Ed, first of all, thank you for taking some time and talking to us today about uh, Mighty Tyaton. And so what I want to do is kind of introduce people to what Mighty Tyaton is, what, uh, what your idea out here in Tyaton is, and, and the economic impact that it's had here in, in, in Tyaton. Um, so first of all, tell us a little bit about what is Mighty Tyaton, if you could kind of, it's, it's an incubator for artisans. So tell me what that, what does that mean? What is, uh, what are we talking about? Where creative businesses, very broadly defined, mm -hmm. could take hold, improve the economy of the town, but also provide outlets for the creative ambitions of many of the people uh, in Seattle, many of the creative people who are just priced out of mm -hmm. opportunity. Right. So um, my own business is publishing art books. The business that I started here was making handmade art books. Mm -hmm. And that's since expanded into developing a line of stationary products that involve hand bookbinding, letterpress printing, screen printing, um, and uh, um, things that are much more tactile and much more yeah, hands-on. And, and I think we'll, we'll see some of that here, mm -hmm. that, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not so much computerized as it is, uh, I guess, what people think of as artisan, really working with your hands and, and, uh, and creating some things. So. Right. And it's the, the things that we produce here we can produce in low quantities. Mm -hmm. We can combine technologies of the 19th, 20th, and 21st centuries. Mm -hmm. We do use digital printing for some of the, the work sure. we do, but we also use old lead type, old wood type, and, uh, and binding techniques that have been around for centuries. Um, so over the years, we've been able to create a studio here that is really distinctive and for my museum clients um, I can sell the items that we produce here or sell the services that we provide here because there just are virtually no other studios in the country doing this very fine odd combination of, um, of publishing techniques. Mm -hmm. So that's my own business. We've also been able to attract uh, Tyatt and Cider Works. Tyatt mm -hmm. and Cider Works is growing like crazy and they're, they're doing just a, a superb job of, um, of rolling out a very, very ambitious uh, enterprise and mm -hmm. they're, they're now selling nationally and winning all sorts of awards. Tyatt and Farm and Creamery moved here because of, um, because of our uh, development. And um, they too are going like gangbusters and mm -hmm. can hardly keep up with the demand for, for their cheese and other products. I've opened Paper Hammer, the shop in Seattle. So the shop in Seattle becomes the retail outlet for, for the items the that we that make here. Yeah. And that's in right, right in downtown Seattle, isn't it? Second and Union, just yeah. two blocks from the Pike Place Market. Yeah. So, yeah. so, and that's, that's really proven to be uh, very popular and that, that really makes um, very good business sense of the work we're doing So here. that's kind of the venue for a lot of the products that you're mm -hmm. putting together here. And it also becomes the showroom. So uh -huh. people come in, they see these products, and then they ask if we can customize some of their products, some of the products for their own businesses, for promotional items or um, corporate gifts. So we have, uh, and I like this, that you have one of the uh, products from uh, Liberty Bottles, another Yakima mm -hmm. manufacturer here, and uh, incubator for artisan businesses. So tell me, kind of define that. What is an incubator, and uh, what do you see as an artisan? It could be making products as we are here, mm -hmm. doing handbook binding and printing, um, but it could also involve hospitality. It could involve food service mm -hmm. or the, the manufacturing of food. 
So is, it's as much a state of mind or, or a state of uh, how you go about your, your product or your service as it is uh, arts. It is, and the, the businesses tend to be things that are kind of locally inspired, that make sense to have here in Titan, that connect in some way with Yakima, because Yakima is a very important um, element to mm -hmm. the whole equation. But for the most part, the people who have set up businesses here had existing creative businesses that they could expand here. Mm -hmm. So it's not as though we're starting new businesses as much as we are s expanding the services and the products that we're able to sell to our existing client base. So therein lies the incubator. You give yes. them this, this, this place to do it and the kind of uh, some of the tools to get started? And or the or if they're going to, to help expand? And the, the incubation part, there, there are lots of ways to define incubators. Um, in our case, we don't have money. We're not, we're not giving grants. Mm -hmm. If uh, one of their businesses makes sense in our buildings, mm -hmm. we try to make it as easy as possible for them to get a toehold there. Mm -hmm. uh, show us some of the products and some of the things that you do here uh, in Paper Hammer. Mm -hmm. Well, um, the, the shop has the merchandise that we make here in Titan. I mm -hmm. also have a selection of, of some of the art books we do for our museum clients around the country. Over the years, we've published books for 200 different museums. Um, but the products that we, we make here um, are just, they're kind of quirky, they're funny. Mm -hmm. um, we just last week finished a line of Titan postcards with, uh, with funny little sayings. Yeah, like, I like that. It's, yeah, you really have become kind of the uh, visitor uh, bureau for Titan. I guess I have. Yeah. And it's, it's inadvertent. But, but uh, over the years... Um, I'm, I've been pretty aggressive about marketing Titan's name. So mm -hmm. when I go to a museum, could be anywhere in the country, one of the first questions I'm asked by curators or museum directors who are, have become friends over the years is, what's going on in Titan? Mm -hmm. So um, suddenly, Titan really is known among a, a, a very important group of creative people as a place that's different, as mm -hmm. a place that, that is kind of pursuing this very romantic idea of what can creative people bring to the economy of a small rural town. Mm -hmm. So as we uh, kind of look through the store, we're seeing some of the products that you make out here that are intended for your, not only your Seattle store, but here. Mm -hmm. uh, so tell us about, uh, a little bit about some of the things that we've got and we're looking at here, Ed. Well, uh, we do everything from T-shirts. Mm -hmm. uh, we just got the screen printing studio a couple of... Uh, months ago and we're, we're using the screen printing mostly for our fine arts books mm -hmm. but we can also use them for t-shirts and some of the guys who are helping me do the t-shirts the I'm hoping will start their own little enterprises using our facilities and selling mm -hmm. to a Yakima uh, market. Yeah, enhancing the economic development out here right. even further. Right. So they're learning a skill mm -hmm. and they're learning about starting a little, little creative business. Right. Um, so in this small way, um, we, can, we can get them thinking of some of the, the business opportunities that are available to them with mm -hmm. just a little bit of a nudge and a little bit of guidance. Mm -hmm. um, we also produce things like um, hipstamatic photographs are very popular on, online now. Uh -huh. You can take pictures with your iPhone and, and uh, get them printed out. So we've started a line of accordion books that can be used to display uh, hipstamatic and regular photographs ah, as well. Nice. Um, this we did with recycled um, binding boards, some of the binding board that mm -hmm. we didn't use in books. And I, I just thought that it would be nice to do a sketchbook um, journal that really focused on one idea. Yeah, very um, nice. So many, so many of the sketchbooks I have have millions of ideas in them, and mm -hmm. I thought maybe I could just focus myself a little more by coming up with this. I These have been very popular. I love this. Not only the idea, and uh, I will promote the uh, website, iHeartYakima.com, mm -hmm. but this is some local gals that uh, are showing their love for Yakima, and you guys did the printing on this. We did, yeah. We, we did this. I, I ran into um, Jessica Moskwa at a, at a reception and asked her to participate in Camp Mighty Titan, this, mm -hmm. this big event we had 
uh, about a month or so ago, and I asked her to um, create a manifesto about their initiative to get people to appreciate the wonderful things that Yakima mm -hmm. has to offer. So she wrote it in the, in the form of a classic manifesto, and then one of our designers, Kevin Hill, laid it out as this very attractive typographic poster, mm -hmm. had all of the manifesto in here, and then we printed it on the letterpress in the, in the warehouse. And so it, it, it's tactile, it's beautifully printed, mm -hmm. it's beautifully designed. Fantastic paper and yeah, just nice, just beautiful work. And we hope that people will buy them and, and keep them up on the wall to constantly remind right them. Right there is enough reason to head out here and get one of these for I Love Yakima. There so it is, I love it. Yeah. Uh, you guys do some specialized book binding. So we do. why don't you show me some of that? Okay, come this way. Mm -hmm. So much of publishing is going digital now I figure in the studio here that I can really go in the opposite direction and create things that are becoming rarer and rarer, which are very beautifully produced. These are the ultimate collector's version, basically. Right. Yes. And we can do that in the studio. And given that my museum clients are um, people who, who really value the objects and the well-designed objects, mm -hmm. um, my market is there. It's, it's not like I have to go find the market. I just sell to the market that I already do work for. So right now, we're producing this beautiful book uh, on Rodin sculpture. There's an exhibition currently on display at the Monterey Art Museum in California of Rodin sculpture. My client was uh, instrumental in organizing the show and curating the show. We, uh, he came up here to tie it, and then we worked on a number of ideas of ways to publish this kind of material in a way that is outside of the traditions of the art museum, but also um, is a book that would be loved and kept and perhaps passed down to yeah. other generations. And these are so specialized that you guys even screen printed each individual page yourself here. We did. So each copy of the book is different than any other copy. Yeah, no, the no. content is the same, but the mm -hmm. textural effects, the gestures, um, the metallic inks are things that, that we, could, we could add to this book that we couldn't if they were conventionally printed. As you were telling me, your uh, workforce here is local. Tell me a little bit about uh, how, how do you find people that can uh, do the work that you need to have done. The, uh, the ability, the, the availability of workers here mm -hmm. has been impressive. And many of the people that we've hired to, to work in the bindery and to do other, other work, kind of creative work around the warehouse and some of our other uh, facilities require somebody who, who really kind of understands the whole idea of artisan manufacture. Many of these people have come from Mexico, mm -hmm. which is an economy that is um, uh, artisan businesses are a central part of the whole national economy. Mm -hmm. in, in villages and towns and cities, you see people making things. You see that you see the production. You see so it's the not a new concept to, to them at all. Yeah. And that that makes a big difference the ability to make something with your hands and to be good at it um, developed early ends up being a skill that can be applied in many different uh, artisan activities. Um, so that's a, a pattern that we've been building on and that I think is really successful. It also just makes for much more interesting uh, friendships and, and uh, uh, development of, of a whole network of colleagues, and it's uh, been one of the most satisfying aspects of the whole project. And it really ties your community together out here. So we're still inside uh, Paper Hammer here, and we're talking to Sylvia. Hi, Sylvia. Hi. Good to be out here and, and be on your, uh, kind of your playing field out here in Tyatin. Mm -hmm. And you are the marketing person for Mighty Tyatin, as well as, I guess, some other groups. So tell us a little bit about what you do here. I am the Exhibitions and Communications Manager okay. for both Mighty Titan Events and also for Titan Arts and Humanities. And so tell me, what does that mean? What, what does that mean? How, who are you marketing to mm -hmm. and, and how do you go about that? Um, I market to pretty much the entire Pacific Northwest mm -hmm. um, and 
especially, I guess, Washington State, um, Seattle metropolitan area, central Washington, and eastern Washington. So you get a, the word out about uh, the things that Mighty Tyneton does and some of the uh, exhibitions and, and mm -hmm. programs. Well, tell me if, about mm -hmm. some of them. You've had some great ones over the last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, let's see. Most recently, we had the 100 plus 1 in Pie Palooza, which was a historical gathering and mm -hmm. pie contest, mm -hmm. which was great. Uh, coming up, we have 10 by 10 by Tyreton, which opens August 11th, mm -hmm. and that's a uh, juried art exhibition. Mm -hmm. now is, this your, is this your first 10 by 10 by 10? No, it's our third. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So, and then that's something that goes on every year? Yeah. Yep. Okay. It's an annual show. Mm -hmm. um, it features work that's no larger than 10 inches in any dimension, mm -hmm. and it's uh, made up of artwork from artists all around the country, and oftentimes actually internationally, but mm -hmm. this year it's a U.S. thing. So as the, uh, as the communications person, how do you go about marketing these events? What is your, what is your kind of your mode of transportation for that information? Um, our mode of communication for that mm -hmm. is uh, a lot of social media. So we use Twitter and Facebook. Um, and we also have uh, email blasts that we send out every month. Mm -hmm. um, aside from that, we have printed posters and things that we distribute. And also, lots and you of do. Email. You certainly have the right place to do that because you, you do beautiful work, and mm -hmm. that's, you can see that all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We have like the greatest designers. <laughs> Absolutely. And several of them actually at our disposal, which is really nice. Uh huh. So if uh, if I wanted to uh, connect via the like the Facebook, is it Mighty Titan mm -hmm. on yeah. Facebook? Mighty Titan on Facebook. And Twitter. And on Twitter, yes. Okay. And, of course, the website, which is? we also have a website, which is MightyTyatin.com. All right. Well, thank you so much, Sylvia. Thank you. Part of the Mighty Tyatin project has not only been the artisan incubator, but also revitalizing the buildings here in Tyatin. So you've got Paper Hammer here, and then you've got another thing you put in back here. So tell me about the buildings a little bit. Well, the idea from the beginning was to try to solidify the core of the town and to uh, really give the town a sense of center and a sense of um, real place. Tyaton is a small enough town that with a little bit of work it can be branded pretty easily. It's, it doesn't have a highway going through it. Mm -hmm. It's a very peaceful place. It's a very, very nice place and I like the structure of the town. Um, we bought Paper Hammer here. The lot next door was also available mm -hmm. for what to Seattle Eyes was a pretty pretty low price. Mm -hmm. So we, we bought it and we put in a garden. The garden connects the park, which is the center of town, mm -hmm. to another building that we have here, Harvest Hall, which we rent out to um, uh, families and different events. We have classes and we have family reunions and weddings and receptions. Um, but joining the park with a building that was off of the square was something that just made sense to us. Um, it also probably bought us more goodwill in Tyaton than any single thing that we've done because when you plant a garden it really symbolizes hope and that mm -hmm. the town has a future. Um, and I think that that's, um, I hope that's how the town feels about it. It's certainly so much more attractive than uh, when we started. And this is your, well, it's your warehouse. You do a lot of things here. And uh, you're going to take us in and show us what you got? I am. All right, let's go in. OK. So uh, tell us about some of the things that we're working on in here. And what kind of printing do you do specifically? Well, this uh, originally was set up as a letterpress shop. We have three uh, old um, Chandler and Price platen presses. Mm -hmm. And uh, those are kind of familiar if you've ever been to an old print shop. Um, but they were used for printing cards and invitations and mm -hmm. things. Um, and then we also have a flatbed press. And the flatbed press is a very high quality piece of machinery. We can do really very, very nice fine arts printing. Mm -hmm. Here we have some wood type and some lead type that we used to um, print postcards, um, all Titan postcards. Mm -hmm. um, when we set this up, we bought a bunch of uh, wood type that's well over 100 years old and lead type, some of which is quite old and some of it is, uh, is still new. You can still buy new lead type. Um, Jerry Marr, our printer and uh, typesetter for the lead type and the wood type, 
comes out from Yakima whenever we have letterpress printing to do, and he's the one who's responsible, and he essentially manages the letterpress shop. Um, so in here, we can take, uh, this is a little spin game, a little promotion item that we produced for my company in Seattle. Um, but each pass requires uh, laying down one color, mm -hmm. pulling the type up, re replacing the type, and then running through another color. So it's, it's really inefficient. But it, it is, <laughs> but but still cool, kind of, so uh, cool. and it goes back, and, and you can just feel the once again the quality of it, right? And and we can do things on very heavy paper that mm -hmm. you could never stick through, uh, say a uh, a digital press. Mm -hmm. um, but there's just some charm, there's some inherent charm of the technique, and and that's a large part of the resurgence of interest in in. Um, letterpress printing. So what kind of clients do you get uh, or what kind of uh, print jobs will you do specifically in here? Uh, is there uh, kind of a, a specific uh, audience or, or uh, clientele that you go after? Well, it's mostly for our books or mm -hmm. for the paper hammer merchandise. We're not set up as a job shop. Uh -huh. So people, if people come and they want wedding invitations or business cards or whatever, we don't do that, that work. It's it requires too much of the front end, mm -hmm. and uh, that's not the business model that, that we created. I, I end up designing most of the things that we end up printing here. Um, and now some of our design interns are starting to do the same, and, and Kevin, our, our uh, design intern from Central Washington University, is the one who actually designed the iHeart Yakima mm -hmm. front side. Uh, we Which you got uh, here, just as kind of to show the the difference in it. Here's one color done on one it. color. That's that's one color, and it was a three color pass on white paper. Uh huh. So this went through the press um, three different times, and it had to dry in between passes. And um, um, it uh, takes a really nice texture yeah. and a, a nice look. You can also do things with color that you can't do. Um, on digital presses mm -hmm. or even offset. Mm -hmm. So there is some <clears throat> inherent qualities that that uh, are very appealing. People, I think, in keeping with some of our other ideas, the more digital things get, mm -hmm. the more people really see the old ways of doing things as exotic and very appealing. Well, exactly. It's, kinda, it's very historical. It is. It yeah. is. And we also have the screen printing studio here that mm -hmm. we just put in a couple of months ago. So for our books, we can now do screen printing of jackets that are as, as wide as 40 inches. Mm -hmm. And that really dramatically expands the, the capacity of what we can do here. And we can do the textures and uh, the random um, metallic passes like you saw in the, mm -hmm. the Rodin book earlier. Mm. But it's a great space. Uh, the, the space originally um, didn't have the skylights in it. We put mm -hmm. the skylights, we've done, we built this area out. We built the, the printmaking studio right next to us, Goathead Press, built that out. But for the most part, we, we just maintained the integrity of the, the warehouse. So Ed, we're here in the warehouse, uh, spent our day here out at Mighty Tieton. Uh, this has had to have had a huge effect on Tieton. It has, uh, Dave McFadden, at Yakima Valley Development Association told us recently that since we've been here in 2005, the tax base of Titan has increased by 50%. And that's at a time when the uh, tax bases of so many municipalities have mm -hmm. declined. Um, we also got word the other day that because of all of the shipping of books and kite kits and little bits and pieces that we send out of the post office, that um, our post office's numbers are looking better at, than most of the other rural post offices. So for the moment, we're golden, and they're actually expanding our post office. And for, for a little town of 1,200 people, that's huge and, and good news. Absolutely. And it's, um, it's, it's nice to, to know that we, we help make that happen. Yeah, so you're adding jobs not only with Mighty Titan, but with the uh, services that, are, 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 that you work with. Right. So what's the future for the uh, area here? What uh, kind of businesses do you see moving in and coming to Titan? Well, we hope to attract more businesses that are related to food, 
We have Tyatt and Cider Works and Tyatt and Farm and Creamery. Mm -hmm. um, we'd love it if there if a, a a uh, brewery came here. We'd love it if somebody started a tavern here. We'd mm -hmm. love it if, if uh, there were more food service opportunities, uh, commercial kitchen. Um, there, there are lots of possibilities along those lines. We'd also just, just love it for somebody to come along who has an existing business and just it, the fit isn't quite right where mm -hmm. they are and they look around and they, they feel like the little community we've created and the situation we've created just fits their, their aesthetic, their business model, whatever. So we're open to any and all um, ideas. Basically, if somebody wants to get in touch with us and send us a one-page description of what, they're, what they've got in mind, um, it's pretty easy for us to encourage or mm -hmm. discourage. Um, but uh, we have lots of capacity here, and we hope in the next couple of years to, to have many successful. One of the things we, we actually didn't get a chance to look at today was you actually have some housing here in one of the condominiums, uh, which is another great thing. Yep. So if they want to learn more about it, if they want to get in touch with you, where do they do that? MightyTyatton.com. All right. Thanks again, Ed. Thank you. Once thank again, you. What, a great, uh, what a great program. Oh, thank you very much. Showcase Yakima, a partnership of KYVE 47 and the Greater Yakima Chamber of Commerce. Underwritten by Trita. And by the Yakima Herald Republic. And by Thorner, Kennedy and Gano. And by Central Valley Bank.